all right hope everybody out there is doing well today uh, i'm at the dealership here i just got my first uh the 600 mile service done on my super duke and now she is ready to rip uh so i figured i'd come out here and uh do a little bit of videoing and go through some of the some of the different uh modes and and uh capabilities of the bike So I'm going to start out in street mode today and uh, we'll get out on the out on the road here and test it for a little bit and then go into sport and performance uh, probably won't hit track mode but we'll do a little bit of different riding and uh, and just kind of talk about the bike and capabilities and what I think of it so far the first thing I will say about this KTM Super Duke is that it is freaking awesome um, despite any you know little quirks or issues it may have none of them can in any any shape outweigh the uh, the performance and just the overall happiness that I have with this bike uh, it is so fun to ride so fun um, I've heard some stories about it being kind of un untamely in the in the city. Uh, I disagree. I think it's it's very smooth. I'm doing you know 38, 35, and third gear, um, and it's very it's very happy. You know, uh, the great thing is at third gear in in the street, all you have to do is roll on the throttle and it goes. Uh, no need to downshift if you want to overpass, overtake a car, or, or uh, you know, weave your way through traffic. It's just, it's just awesome, man. I love this bike. The brakes are insane. They're they're so grippy. Um, you know, I think one of the biggest problems we we get into with sport bikes is we get going too fast and uh, can't always slow down quick enough. Uh, not with this bike. It stops on a dime, as fast as you like. So the quick shifter is amazing. Um, I have a, a GS1250 BMW. It has a quick shifter. Uh, I just assumed that was kind of how quick shifters worked. But not the case. This KTM Super Duke quick shifter is like butter. It's so smooth. Uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. So in street mode, it's 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 fairly tame. I mean, it's not going to wheelie all over the place on you or anything like that. But it still has uh, plenty of punch. And even though it's uh, even though the motor is quite subdued in uh, street mode. But just, you know, for riding around here in town, maybe saves a little bit of gas, I don't know. But uh, it's got plenty of power, not, as much as you would need just riding around here in town. So, on the um, suspension settings, for the damping, you have uh, five settings. Automatic, Sport, Street, Comfort, and Advanced. According to the manual in Automatic, the, the bike <laughs> adjusts to your riding style, how, whatever that means. I don't know. Maybe if you're not getting on the throttle real hard, the, the uh, the damping is, is soft, you know, allows for a more cushy ride, and if you're really romping on it, it stiffens up, get better traction to the rear. Um, but I, I'm not really sure. Um, sport mode, street mode, comfort. Comfort mode's not too bad, actually. I usually roll around in sport mode. 
um, but it does uh, you know it's, it tends to beat you down a little bit after a while on my uh, on this buttons on the side here C1 and C2 the, the what they call it the uh, quick quick buttons I've got uh, C1 for my ride mode I'm gonna go ahead and put it into street now uh, or excuse me uh, sport and we'll see the difference between the power delivery and it's it's quite it's quite a bit uh, so I, I'm six foot four about 240 um, and this bike very comfortable for me um, my girlfriend and I went out riding the other day on our on our bikes and we put in about uh, 150 180 miles I was totally comfortable near the end of the day it was really hot uh, got a little bit of monkey butt near the end of the day but it wasn't really too bad all things considered bike corners like it's just amazing I mean there's lots of great cornering bikes out there um, I'm not gonna say that this one blows them all the way but I'm gonna say that this is definitely up there uh, with the the better cornering bikes I've ever ridden you just kind of think where you want it to go and it goes there so it's pretty cool So performance mode under that under the throttle you have three different throttle response settings. You have track, sport, and street. Uh, track being the most the most responsive. Um, you also have your anti-wheelie mode, which I, I leave on. Uh, unless I'm wanting to wheelie launch mode or sorry launch control which obviously well everybody knows what launch control is but uh, I find that in performance um, if you don't turn anti wheelie on and you forget about it you're likely to have that front wheel up in the air before you know it so I just put it on and then if I want to do some wheeling I will turn off anti wheelie mode not that I'm the world's best wheelier by by any mean When I got into uh, second gear and hit the throttle, the front wheel came off the ground, even though I'm in anti-wheeling mode. Uh, obviously, it, it, it keeps the bike from wheeling too much, but it will still come off the ground. So you got to be careful with those handlebars, um, or uh, yeah, and and also the, one of the bad things about this. Uh, the KTM is that uh, the uh, steering damper is not very good so when that front wheel comes off the ground if you're doing 80 miles an hour uh, if you're not careful when it comes back down it's it's gonna get uh, it's gonna get spicy on you but it has some incredible power more than I can use I mean I've been riding a long time but I, I, this bike has more than more than I can put into use, really. This little Mini Cooper wants to race. <laughs> Sadly mistaken, I think, though. So, under the uh, suspension, you also have a preload, which I keep it in auto high. Um, according to the manual, auto high um, 
puts the rear end up a little bit, gives the bike a little bit more aggressive stance. Obviously, uh, it will it'll give you better handling and turn turns. Um, and then you have your auto standard, which makes makes the, it's just a the standard setting. The wheelies will be easier in standard, obviously, because the front uh, and the the back will be more parallel. Uh, then you have low, which. According to the manual, uh, when you're riding around in town, it's nice to have it in low just so you can, uh, your feet can reach the ground if you're a shorter person. And then manual, you can set it by percentage. And the the KTM manual will actually give you percentage percentage ratios for uh, single rider, rider with equipment, rider with uh, passenger, passenger and equipment, yada, yada, yada. I just keep it in auto high because I like the way it looks. So, the bike has a six-speed gearbox, but I don't really know why. I haven't found, I haven't found a reason to use sixth gear yet. Um, even on the freeway at 80 miles an hour, you throw it into sixth gear and the bike is just sputtering and, and coughing and, and doesn't like it at all. Um, I don't know, maybe they should have put an overdrive in there instead or something just for cruising, but... Um, even at freeway speeds, I'm in fifth gear pretty much all of the time. Um, and, and fifth gear will give me anything from 55 to 80 miles an hour, really. Um, don't really see much, much use for more than that. But like I said, if you're gonna if you're gonna use sixth gear, you're gonna be going well over the speed limit. That's for certain. Which that's what this bike is made for, I assume. Uh, so one of my favorite things about this bike is the sound. Even with the stock exhaust, it sounds fantastic. I don't know if you can hear it on the GoPro. I hope so. But the the intake roar is just incredible it sounds so good <laughs> i just love this bike i'll tell you what so to anyone who is considering getting the Super Duke um, and just isn't sure about the price involved, you get a lot, a lot of bike for your money. I'll say that. Um, I, I don't think it's really for what you get. It's it's not priced that high. In, in fact, it may even be priced kind of low. Uh, I, I have the Evo, which is the um, electronic suspension. It's not what I ordered. I ordered the regular R version, uh, the Super Duke R. Uh, but I was waiting a long time. It just was supposed to come in. It just wasn't coming in. Um, the dealer called me up one day and said, Hey, I just had an Evo come off of the truck if you want it. And I said, You bet I do. Um, so... I've been super, super happy. I, I kind of wanted the adjustable suspension, um, just because I'm kind of a old school kind of guy like that. But I have not been in any way disappointed with this uh, electronic suspension. It is fantastic. It really is. So to sum it up. This bike is everything I had hoped it would be and more. Uh, as a tall rider, it is still very comfortable. Um, as a heavier rider, it's still very comfortable. It moves my big butt around with utter quickness. It wants to go fast. It really likes to go fast. Um, again, I've only got 800 and something miles on it, but I'm hoping that there are no maintenance issues with it. From what I understand, KTM has done a really great job of working out all those gremlins that they've had in the past. Um, 
And so long as this bike stays running the way it is now, um, by by far, hands down, the f most favorite bike I've ever owned. It is just a joy, a joy to ride. Okay, so I think I've already mentioned this, but just in case I, I forgot, let me just say that I love this bike. It is so awesome. It is fast as all get out. Uh, it is rip your face off fast. It is hold on to those handlebars with everything you got fast. Um, no doubt about it. Everything that they say about this bike is true. It is a beast. I think it's beautiful. It's a gorgeous bike. Um, I wasn't sure I was gonna like the blue tank until I saw it in person. It's, it's fantastic. Uh, it's a very, very dark, uh, sinister looking blue. Um, and with the black, it's just, it's just perfect. I love the orange uh, trellis frame, beautiful. Um, everything, everything about this bike I just love. So again, if you're in the market uh, for a KTM Super Duke and you're just not sure whether you wanna spend the dough on it, it is worth it. If you've got the, if you've got the extra money for it, um, I highly suggest you buy one. It will be money well worth spent because you can't put a price on happiness, right? And this bike, makes happiness that's all there is to it it's just you can't be unhappy on this motorcycle uh it is not a beginner bike do not buy this bike if it's your first bike you will kill yourself um i've been riding for 30 years and i probably shouldn't own this bike i mean this bike is really for professionals um but i don't care i love it it's it's so it's so much fun um so again, uh, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please uh, subscribe to my channel. Help me help me grow this thing and get it off the ground. Uh, I'm really looking forward to becoming uh, a professional um, a vlogger, if you will, um, and and making more of these videos. But I need help. I need uh, sub I need subscribers. So hit the like button if you liked the video, and please go check out the rest of my videos at Upshifting Adventures. And uh, until next time, I hope you guys are out there riding and having a great time.